Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and fellow COVIDians. Uh, just a fun, quick video today. Uh, we actually are starting to get to the good part where we start attaching all the detail parts on. Uh, I don't see any more boring, long, tedious, laborious steps up ahead. It all It's all fun from here on to the completion of the project. Thank you for joining me on that engine two-part series build we did the other day on my episodes. I'm going to start referring them to shop manuals. So that was a shop manual for working on the engine on a C900 by AMT. And thank you for joining me on that journey and check it out. I feel it was well worth the tedious and the monotony and that duck work uh, customization, customized job we did came out great. I'm super, super happy and glad I took all that time and all those steps and trials and errors to get that to the way I wanted to, to resemble the real truck. We cut some sheet metal today, some brass sheet metal pieces for the for the frame rails themselves. And we'll share that with you right here. Apparently, um, we're gonna cut, we already cut the long length of that part, but I just need to take a little piece off the end there. I already measured and scribed, and we'll put it on the shear here and just pop that sucker right out. Came out great, and that larger piece will sit on top with the fifth wheel on top of that. This is a little piece since I'm cutting stuff of rivets. I want I needed a rivet strip. This was perfect. So this is from the rivet experiment we did the other months ago. Using the shear, I'll cut that into a strip and use it for some mud flat projects I have over here on the side. Just like what you see there. So that was easy, quick, clean. Didn't take too long at all. Also, we're going to share with you what we are going to share with you guys tonight. Oh, here, before I get to that. There was a reason why I cut that brass sheet, those brass sheet metal steps. So that's where she's going. All she needs now is her wheel wells or fender flares or um, mud flaps or whatever you want to call them. I'll find out the correct designation and figure that out. And also it needs that odd shaped fuel tank that I've been talking so much about. That's going to be an interesting project to work on. It's probably going to be a little bit tedious, but it's going to be a fun, exploring, tedious project, at least for me. I want to know if I can pull it off. More or less, she's coming along great. I did go down to the hobby store and I found some Tanimiya correct yellowish orange with slight tint orange spray can, rattle can to do the cab. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to decanter the spray can and I'm going to shoot it through my airbrush. That's my preferred method. It gives me a lot more control, I feel, and I tend not to make any errors. And I'll hit it with some clear. But I did want to share with you guys some stuff that came in the mail today. That's going to be very important for the upcoming steps we're going to do here. We'll open the stuff together. The stuff came in this morning, but I've been holding off opening it. Because I wanted to run it by you guys. So... This will be the photo etch dress up kit that they sell online or on YouTube. I'm sorry, eBay. Already I can see the dash gauge pieces. This is packed very well so it won't get damaged. So bear with me a second here.
These will be the instructions. So when we start working on the cab exterior, this will be all the detail parts that I'm hopefully going to be able to doll her up. Uh, when I made the decision to go all out on her here, all out on her and make her look like a million bucks, I made that decision here, I think, just a few days ago. And um, this is what I meant by that. So I'll let you know how it works out and I'll show you guys through the steps on the video on that shop manual of that episode when I get to work on the cab. Looking forward to this and I'm sure you guys are too. Let's find out what else came in the mail today. Oops, sorry about that. Those are the wheel wells or the fender wells, whatever you want to refer to them as. Now I'm going to use these for many projects and other big rig projects I have in the pipeline. But definitely wanted to use them here on this C900 project because as we saw in the videos, the real one has them which is a unique feature that immediately caught my eye and I said I want to build that model. I'm going to place them on the wheel right now by hand. Let's see if it fits and it's going to do the job the way we need it to do the job. Um, <laughs> to straighten out that cab a little bit, not too much. Here goes guys. Wow, we got it. <laughs> we actually got it. So I'm actually tickled pink. I'm having a little bit of problems here with my laptop. Oh well, I can't help that anymore. Let me put the second one on. We're just about done with this video. I'm not going to have any... Pretty much anything else to share. I just kind of wanted to share this step with you guys. So we just need that odd fuel tank and I think we're there.
Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me on this little quick update. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I'll let the video camera keep recording for a little bit. I'll leave the room. Thank you for joining me so far on this journey. She's been a blast. This AMT kit, I cannot speak any more highly of this kit. And I highly, highly recommend. It's a fun, quick little build that you could customize any way you want. And you guys saw it all here live with your own eyes. It only took a couple, a few episodes. And uh, I think we're in barely into two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks doing this. With a lot of breaks. Actually, I lied. I, I couldn't leave the room. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> oh, man. This model has been amazing. You guys have been amazing. Get up right now. Go to your stash. Pull out a fun, cool project you've always wanted to do. Let's do it right now, all of us together. In case you're wondering, the outfit that sells these uh, wheel wells, uh, they're seven bucks a piece. I'll provide a link down in the description. All right, guys, you guys take care. Thank you for joining me. See you at the see you on the next episode.